what it do, what it don't, what it is, what it isn't. You already know what this is. This is once. We're not saying magazine dedicated to shit that I'm into, Zia, and I'm your host, P5, aka P is for plush parasol. I don't know, but I'm keeping that one in. Anyway, this is another episode of Nice Bit of Kit That. I know you're thinking, what? Nice bit, ki nice bit of Kit That, and you're sat down. Well, today, I'm just going to do a little difference because the weather outside is crazy, and you know I like to film my nice bits of Kit That outside. I thought I'd do it inside, and I'll just show you three pieces today. Nothing too exorbitant or too sexy, just a couple, three pieces that I want to share. So, um, I grabbed... A um, couple bits in the cell, nothing crazy. I don't really do the cells per se. Like I grab a bit here and I grab a bit there. What I don't like is the fact that because everything's discounted, we all go, oh, I need that, I need that, I need that. We don't need anything, let's be honest. There's people who really need, but those people are living on the streets and you know they're less fortunate than ourselves. Again, it's not for us to feel guilty about having nice things because that is part of abundance. Um, you should welcome and um, cherish nice things. There's nothing wrong with that but again it's not important I say all that to say is I didn't get much in the cell I got a couple bits let's just um, go through a few bits it's kind of like an outfit I've got here actually so let's start um, at the bottom shall we let's do that so I've got these as you can see right there nice pair of jeans so these are a pair of um, bell staff long something jeans I will tell you in a moment these are bell staff Longton slim jeans that's the one see that right there um this is my first pair of belfast jeans actually this is a size 32 waist and a leg 30 which is always the perfect if the leg is dirty it means it's not overrunning on your crepes and it's just perfect now these funny enough that if you can see the denim right there you see those little sort of um stretch marks right there you see them as time goes by those stretch marks will look even more beautiful you know what i mean um if you get a nice pair of denim really what you want to do is build up them lines so there's um they're particular to yourself you know um as you see these already have some but as you go along um, you can you can build them up yourself of course let me just go up you've got your um, you've got your button fastener right there and that goes through the loop just like so super nice of course you've got your zipper right there I can't see what the zipper says because I don't have my glasses um, it might be a bell staff um, zipper might not be I'm not sure of course you've got your bell staff little label in there and you've got your sizing label right there um, you have everything, your literature right there telling you all about the literature. As you can see, so I don't like too much of a wide um, bottom um, pause. I don't like too much of a wide bottom on my jeans. So this is actually a perfect kind of slim. Um, it could probably be a little bit skinnier if, you, if you're asking me because I like um, that perfect do you know what I mean? Like there, I like that perfect taper. But this sits nice. I'm a fold over kind of guy. So you can see what it looks like inside when you fold over. And give you a little close up there. It's not salvage denim, but you know, you can see a nice little bit of denim right there. The denim color itself reminds me kind of those sort of 80s washed or early 90s washed jeans. I've actually got a pair of jeans um, from the 90s that is kind of this feel. Um, it's not a silky, silky feel on the on the denim but it's a it's a nice it's a nice sort of it's a very genie feel i don't know if you can understand what i mean by that but it feels like a pair of jeans whereas i have some pair of jeans that are super soft and super you know just but this is very genie of course you've got your um bell staff um patch right there it's not a patch it's a yeah let's just call it a patch that's the patch but whatever that is badge that's the one badge sometimes if you see my brain um not working that's what it looks like okay so pair of bell staff jeans i bought these from good hood and i think bell staff these are normally 120 i might have paid 70 pound in total you know plus shipping so again nice little bit of discount 50 pound off good pair of jeans it will last you I, I would say better to spend some money um, pet, spend a little bit extra on a nice pair of jeans and then you don't have to keep buying the jeans that are cheap all right okay secondly now on to the old um, jeans if I was putting a nice little top we have this CP company you see that right there CP company tacting t-shirt now the beautiful thing about this t-shirt and this is the first piece of this that i've ever had um is that 
it's like a polo shirt basically it's a polo shirt but without the polo collars so it's really sort of sturdy it's really nice it's it's just got a really really cool um feel to it it's super soft um of course you've got your cp company right there so you can see um it's soft to the touch just think of a polo shirt really nice you've got your little literature right there um yeah really nice and of course the color speaks for itself it's kind of like this peach color right there super super dope i got this of course in the sale once again at the sale shop so um yeah got a really nice price for it really really nice okay now the final piece i'm going to show you as you can see once again is the cp company gp company is the cp company and i love this um it was the last one there found it i was like yes um so it's a cp company metropolis series and it's a sweat it's a jumper but it's like a proper knit really really nice super like if you have a look at it just you can feel you can feel the material 100 percent. look at the grain on that really really dope of course it's the metropolis series so for those of you that don't know the normal um cp company will ha either have the goggles or the lens badge um and this metropolis series always has this as you can see i'll just pull that off and it's always there really nice and that's a sturdy velcro as you can see nice bit of knit there it's in this um it's a gray green um really really nice and it fits it's actually a fitted jumper so when i wear it you know i've been going a bit of gym now you know so i'm showing a bit of armage right there really really nice just super nice guys this is a size 50 fits perfectly like i said it's a little bit fitted so i would say if you're if you want that loose fit you'd go a size up maybe you're 52 or 54 you won't be overdoing it um yeah this is a merino wool as well made of merino wool um coming into the new year i'll start looking at materials in detail but yeah really really nice piece and yeah that's it guys i just thought i'd show you a little nice bit of kit that so you don't feel like i've been um i've been what's the word i've been i'm looking for depriving you of 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 the good stuff so yeah those are three pieces that i've recently added to the wardrobe which will go into the old um you know collection um nice jumper for when i want to be a little bit smart a little bit of t-shirt maybe underneath nice i could wear that whole outfit together put on a nice sort of um peach pair of crepes we're good to go you know but um yeah guys i hope you've enjoyed it let me know what your favorite piece was in that in out of those three and yeah we'll do some more little close-ups short close-ups like this um in the future guys this has been another episode of nice bit of kit that i've been your boy p5 aka peach t-shirt <laughs> and this has been once we are not saying magazine dedicated to shit that i'm into the end as always guys please like comment subscribe and i thank you and i appreciate you stay dope stay fly remember um clothes don't make the man man make the clothes all right gang be well stay fly and i'm gonna see you in 2023 peace